Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, April 8th, 2021. I am Fredicia Leibard. The following is a press release from the Nevis Tourism Authority, NTA, regarding Nevis's nomination by the World Travel Awards, WTA, for the 28th Annual World Travel Awards as the Caribbean's leading honeymoon destination, 2021. The World Travel Awards was established in 1993 to acknowledge, reward, and celebrate excellence across all key sectors of the travel, tourism, and hospitality industries. Today, the brand is recognized globally as the ultimate hallmark of industry excellence. Despite the ongoing global challenges in travel, the appetite for travel has reached unprecedented levels. Evidence is reflected in the WTA annual voting figures, which was a record 2 million votes cast in 2020, with more people taking part than in any other year of WTA's 28-year history, representing a huge vote of confidence for the travel and tourism industry. As Nevis is known for its effortless barefoot luxury, verdant foliage and landscapes and hospitable service, it is no wonder that the beautifully romantic island of Nevis has been nominated by WTA as the Caribbean's leading honeymoon destination 2021. To be recognized in this category alongside other spectacular destinations is testament to the exceptional service, the high standards and unique honeymoon offerings in Nevis. This nomination also recognizes the dedication of the island's stakeholders as well as the Nivisians who work passionately to make this a truly special place for couples to celebrate their love for one another. Additionally, the magically romantic Four Seasons Resort Nevis has been shortlisted by WTA in the following four categories. Caribbean's Leading Beach Resort, Caribbean's Leading Honeymoon Resort 2021, Caribbean's Leading Luxury Island Resort, and Caribbean's Leading Luxury Resort 2021. The support from such a prestigious organization of industry experts is a testament to how exceptional the island of Nevis truly is. To cast your vote, please visit the link on your screen. Deputy Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, has conveyed the Nevis Island Administration's confidence in and support of the Bank of Nevis Limited. So we made a decision then to establish stronger ties with the Bank of Nevis. So fast forward to 2015, we made a decision that we will establish that type of relationship whereby Bank of Nevis, of course, would become our main or the major banker of the Nevis Island administration, and by extension, the people of Nevis. But what we would have done is not merely by words to say that we want the bank to be our major banker, but we would have taken steps in 2017 to acquire shares in the Bank of Nevis. As a matter of fact, the Nevis Island administration made that decision to purchase 3 million shares, which was valued just about uh, $5 million. That was a quantum leap, so to speak, because prior to that, I believe 1,000 shares were bought in 2010. Small as it is, it was significant then, but we made the decision in 2017, and it was the collective decision that no member of cabinet would purchase any of those shares for their own personal gain. So we decided that the people of Nevis should have that stake. We didn't stop there, but in the 2020, in the face of COVID-19, when many persons were saying that times are challenging, uh, financial uh, difficulties are there, we saw an opportunity. So we bought an additional 1 million shares in March of 2020. Then again, in June of 2020, we bought an additional 1 million shares. So that would bring our stake in the bank. That is, when I say our stake, that is the people of Nevis through the Nevis Island Administration to 4.1 million shares. That is significant. The Deputy Premier was at the time delivering remarks on behalf of Premier, the Honourable Mark Brantley, at an opening ceremony for the bank's second branch in Nevis, located on Chapel Street, Charlestown. 
He revealed that the Nevis government is now the second largest shareholder in the Bank of Nevis. Jeffers wished the institution well on the eve of expansion on Nevis and into Bastyr St. Kitts. Still to come, Federation aiming for full reopening in October 2021. The details right after this break. Yes, yeah, some sunshine from Sunshine Bomb Grill, and I'm so happy in support of myself. And I went and get the vaccine, and I'm feeling fine. And I encourage all individuals, all conditions, to get it because if we're going to open the border, we need to protect ourselves. Please. I encourage one and all to go out and get their vaccine. It's the right thing to do. It's the safest thing to do. One love. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. This message was brought to you by the Department of Public Health, Nevis. Welcome back. The Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis will be receiving its share of COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX facility this week. The COVAX facility, to which St. Kitts and Nevis is a member, is a global effort co-led by the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, the Gavi Vaccine Alliance, UNICEF, the World Health Organization, and the Pan American Health Organization. Officials from the Ministry of Health have confirmed that the country will receive its full total of 21,600 doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine as a result of its participation in the Global Alliance. The Federation secured its portion of vaccines through the arrangement by paying the required sum of U.S. $223,660. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, paid U.S. $96,163 on behalf of the Federation, while the government paid the balance of U.S. $127,497. As at Saturday, April 3rd, a total of 9,540 doses of the vaccine were administered administered to citizens and residents of St. Kitts and Nevis, representing 28.88% of 70% of the government's target population. Medical Chief of Staff at the JNF General Hospital, Dr. Cameron Wilkinson, says the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis is aiming for a full reopening in October of 2021. He said this on April 6th during the virtual forum series, Leadership Matters, hosted by the Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris. Dr. Wilkinson said, The Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis has done exceedingly well in the fight against COVID-19, and we are grateful that, to date, we have had no major hospitalizations or deaths from the virus. Dr. Wilkinson congratulated the near 10,000 persons who stepped forward and did the right thing and got their first shot taken, taking us to nearly 30% of the target population, he said. He encouraged the population to continue to do the right thing, outlining that the vaccine is free, highly efficacious and effective, a lifesaver, safe and protective of those around you and the vulnerable. He said also that the Federation needs 70 to 90 percent of the population to be vaccinated to protect the Federation's health systems, keep the population financially strong, help to prevent fake news and get back to normalcy in the quickest way possible. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Silibird. Thank you for viewing.